The F-15 Strike Eagle has repeatedly proven its prowess on the battlefield, making it one of the most respected fighter jets in American aviation history. Today, its early variants are being replaced by the latest fleet, the F-15EX. The development of the F-15 Strike Eagle, originally created by McDonnell Douglas and now produced by Boeing, dates back to the Vietnam War era. At the time, the U.S. Air Force and Navy were at odds over the concept of future tactical fighter aircraft. The then U.S. Secretary of Defense, Robert McNamara, further complicated the debate by pushing both branches to use the same aircraft for efficiency, even if it meant sacrificing certain performance aspects. And none have been reintroduced. In January 1965, McNamara requested the Air Force to propose a new low-cost, short-range tactical fighter capable of providing close air support to replace various existing aircraft, such as the North American F-100 Super Sabre and several light bombers. Then, in April of the same year, Harold Brown, director of the Department of Defense Research and Engineering, suggested that the Air Force consider purchasing the Northrop F-5 as a temporary solution while developing a new experimental fighter aircraft. To support this plan, the initial speed expectations for the future aircraft were lowered from Mach 3 to Mach 2.5. The turning point came in 1967 when the Soviet Union introduced the MiG-25. This aircraft had a speed exceeding Mach 2.8 and large wings that provided high agility. Its superiority caused significant concern within the U.S. Department of Defense. Many feared that the U.S. experimental fighter project, known as FX, had already fallen behind before it was even developed. In response, the project was accelerated with a three-shift work system to ensure that a domestically built aircraft could compete. In September 1968, American aerospace companies received a request for proposals from the Department of Defense to design a single-seat fighter jet with a maximum takeoff weight of 40,000 pounds, a top speed of Mach 2.5, and a thrust-to-weight ratio close to 1 to 1 at mission weight. Additionally, the aircraft was required to use two engines, which were deemed more responsive and shared commonality with the Navy's parallel VFX program. Soon after, four companies submitted their designs. The Air Force considered concepts from Fairchild Republic, North American Rockwell, and McDonnell Douglas. Finally, in December 1969, they selected McDonnell Douglas as the contract winner. Similar to the Navy's VFX project, the FX program bypassed much of the prototype phase and moved directly into full-scale development to save time and reduce the risk of program cancellation. The chosen aircraft design bore similarities to the F-14 Tomcat, but featured fixed wings. The initial model was divided into two prototypes, the single-seat F-15 and the two-seat TF-15, later known as the F-15A and F-15B. The aircraft was equipped with new Pratt and Whitney F-100 engines, which produced a thrust-to-weight ratio of more than 1 to 1 meaning each pound of the aircraft's weight was supported by 1.17 pounds of thrust from its two engines. Meanwhile, the originally planned Ford Philco G 725mm cannon faced development challenges and was eventually replaced by the proven M61 Vulcan. The F-15A made its maiden flight in 1972, followed by the F-15B in July 1973. With a low wing loading, the F-15 proved to be highly agile and capable of executing tight maneuvers without losing speed. Its aerodynamic superiority enabled the aircraft to reach an altitude of 30,000 feet in 60 seconds and 65,000 feet in just 122 seconds, an achievement difficult for other fighter jets of its time to match. The incredible capabilities of the F-15 in terms of speed and thrust have led many aviation enthusiasts and experts to wonder. Is this aircraft more like a rocket than a fighter jet? One of the biggest surprises, even for engineers, is that the F-15 can continue flying with just one wing. This was proven when an Israeli F-15D piloted by Zivi Nadvi collided mid-air with an A-4 Skyhawk. The A-4 was completely destroyed, forcing its pilot to eject. Meanwhile, the F-15, despite losing control, managed to land safely at Ramon Air Base using full afterburner, 
and a landing speed twice the usual rate. This astonishing speed has earned the F-15 the nickname America's Muscle Car with Wings. The early models of this aircraft used Pratt and Whitney F-100 engines, each generating 25,000 pounds of thrust. However, the latest versions of the F-15 are now powered by two highly capable General Electric F-110 GE-129 turbofan engines with afterburners and a maximum thrust of over 29,900 pounds per engine. Surprisingly, even modern fighter jets have not been able to surpass the F-15 speed. The F-22 Raptor, which was designed to replace it, is slower. The F-4 Phantom, which set multiple speed records, is also slower. Aircraft such as the F-14 Tomcat, F-16 Fighting Falcon, F-18 Super Hornet, and F-35 Lightning II all lag behind the F-15 in speed. This makes the F-15 the fastest and most aggressive fighter jet ever built in the United States since it first entered service in 1976. Even after nearly 50 years, the F-15 remains a formidable threat to the enemies of democracy. Since its introduction, 1,198 F-15 units have been produced in more than 20 variants, including experimental versions. However, the most intriguing model today is the F-15 EX Eagle II. This variant is part of the Advanced Eagle family and represents a logical evolution from the F-15 E-Strike Eagle, which itself was derived from the F-15 SA developed for the Royal Saudi Air Force. The F-15 EX incorporates various upgrades from the export-developed F-15E, including the full integration of General Electric F-110, GE-129 engines, and the AN-ALQ-239 Digital Electronic Warfare System DUWS, which replaces the older Tactical Electronic Warfare System twos. After reassessing its needs, the U.S. Air Force realized that modernizing and upgrading a proven airframe was a highly beneficial decision. The latest features on the F-15EX include a large flat panel display in the cockpit, a joint helmet-mounted queuing system, JHMCS, a low-profile head-up display, HUD, modified internal wing structures, a fly-by-wire control system, an AN, APG-82 AESA radar, activation of external weapon stations, wing stations 1 and 9, an advanced mission computer, ADCP-2, the latest satellite communication and radio systems, as well as enhanced electronic warfare and surveillance capabilities. Additionally, the aircraft is equipped with the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, EPWAS, and an infrared search and track IRST sensor housed in a Legion pod. With all these innovations, it's no surprise that this aircraft has been named the Eagle II. However, in terms of capability, it's hard to consider it as merely number two, even when compared to its legendary predecessor. The F-15 battlefield proven design, ease of maintenance, and lower operational costs are just a few of the advantages the F-15EX offers the U.S. Air Force. However, the most outstanding feature of the F-15EX that puts all its competitors on alert is its weapon payload capacity. This aircraft can carry up to 12 weapons with a total weight of nearly 30,000 pounds, making it one of the most heavily armed air-to-air -air combat fighters in the world. Its arsenal includes nine AIM-910 Sidewinder and AIM-120 AMRA missiles, air-to-ground missiles such as the AGM-158 JASM, AGM-88H ARM, and AGM-183 ARRW, as well as a variety of precision bombs including the GBU-31 and GBU-38 JDAM and GBU-39 SDB. In fact, recent evidence suggests that compared to the standard Advanced Eagle configuration of 12 air-to-air -air missiles, the F-15EX can carry up to 16 AIM-120 and AIM-9 missiles, along with two AGM-88 HARM missiles. Additionally, the aircraft retains the M61A1 Vulcan 20mm Gatling gun with 500 rounds as its built-in weapon. When it comes to facing the most advanced enemy air defense systems, the Eagle II may not match the stealth capabilities of the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. However, it can serve as a highly effective companion in air superiority missions, homeland and airbase defense, and enforcing no-fly zones against threats with limited air defense capabilities. Furthermore, 
The F-15EX can carry a large number of long-range weapons to support stealth fighters in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. The first F-15EX was delivered to the 142nd Wing in Portland on the 6th of June 2024. Other squadrons will be stationed at Fresno Air National Guard Base in California and Joint Reserve Naval Air Station New Orleans in Louisiana, each receiving 18 F-15EX units as part of the modernization effort to replace aging F-15C aircraft. Two additional squadrons have also been deployed to Kadena Air Base in Okinawa, Japan replacing two retired F-15C D units. Regarding future plans, the U.S. Air Force currently intends to purchase 98 F-15EX units out of the originally planned 144. This figure includes five operational squadrons each, with 18 aircraft plus additional units for training and testing. With a price of approximately $87.7 million per unit, including engines, radar, and other major systems, the F-15EX has the potential to rival even the F-35 in terms of cost-effectiveness and operational capability. While there is speculation that the number of F-15EX units could increase to between 150 and 200 in the coming decade, the U.S. Air Force is currently focusing more on developing sixth-generation fighter jets, the B-21 Raider Street Elt Bomber, and Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, that will work alongside the F-35 and other combat platforms. But does it make sense to replace a workhorse that has served faithfully for over 50 years with a new, more advanced aircraft? Or perhaps the F-15EX will continue to play a key role in the U.S. Air Force for decades to come.